oropharynx, all this region. Yeah. This is the coana, right? Because there's the nasal cavity. Okay. And then see that little nug there? That's the station? That's a tonsil. <laughs> so that's the tonsil right there. Okay. Now, where's the inlet? Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. That's the So here's epiglottis? the epiglottis. Covers the airway. That's the glottis. The glottis is the hole. This cartilage is the thyroid cartilage. Oh. And then this gland right there is the thyroid gland. Oh. And it's probably about from there to there. I thought that was just the larynx. So, That's not the larynx? Well, it's the larynx, but the cartilage making up the larynx, one of them is the thyroid oh. cartilage. Oh, okay. And then above it is going to be the uh, hyoid bone. The laryngeal prominence, Adam's apple, and there's the hyoid bone right there. Uh, you're supposed to know the uh, mandibular gland and then the parotid gland is kind of <laughs> part of it there, but yeah. it's kind of chewed. You'll see this parotid duct, see the red that mm -hmm. like runs to the gland itself. You can kind of see it looks kind of bumpy underneath there. That's the parotid kind of ground. Gland. Yeah, and then if it were closed, right below that would be the mandibular gland. So that's the mandibular Ooh. gland. And then, like, like I said, that's the parotid duct that would run through. Yeah, it runs through that fascia, but you can kind of see the end of it right there. You know what I'm saying? It kind of runs through, and then it is underneath that. But yeah. So they oh, but there it is, and see there's the, the vessels going up the neck. So there'd be a common carotid artery and a subclavian artery right there. Okay. So if you point into that one or the curve or the down part, that's all aorta on the test. Oh, it is, but they're special parts. This is well, the, you want the ascending, part? yeah, ascending aorta, that's aortic not on our arch, <laughs> thoracic aorta, <laughs> abdominal aorta. The thoracic aorta. Oh, we thought that was up here. So that's this so is it. It's there and it goes all the way down, of course, and becomes the abdominal aorta. See all these little vessels coming out yeah. onto the sides? Those are intercostal arteries. And see that white dental floss on top of the inferior vena cava? That's the phrenic nerve. It goes to the diaphragm. And so this is the mediastinal septum, this septum that surrounds the um, uh, heart and pericardial cavity. It was attached right there to the sternum. And so it goes from backbone to sternum, and it separates the two pleural cavities, one pleural cavity from the other. And there it is. And then if you cut through that, that's the what? The if you cut into it, there's the mediastinum, that's the space. Okay. And then the heart and its own pericardial sac is inside that space. Between the liver and the diaphragm, that's the falciform ligament. And the falciform ligament is uh, uh, one of the only ventral mesenteries left. And there's the lesser omentum right in there. And so this is greater omentum off the greater curvature of the stomach and lesser omentum off the lesser curvature of the stomach. So there's the greater curvature of the stomach. And the greater omentum comes down and folds back up. And so it's hollow. See that? There's the omento bursa right there. It's hollow in there. So the bursa, bursa is a little pouch. And so there it is. It's hollow. So all that fat builds up on it? It's not yeah, that's where we store our fat. It. Especially guys store our fat in the uh, uh, greater omentum. Okay. And see how it's a serous membrane? It's just one of the mesenteries. It's a mesentery just like this, but it's a specialized mesentery in that it comes off the greater curvature of the stomach, comes down and folds back, <laughs> and it's all full of fat. It's always invested with fat like this, ribbons of fat. So where it first comes out is cardiac, right? Uh, it is, and then see the part that kind of bulges upward? That's the fundus right up so in like here. So like just that Put all those parts on our list. And then the, um, usually you can feel the muscular uh, pyloric uh, valve or um, sphincter right mm -hmm. there. And so that's the yeah, pyloric right valve. And this would be the duodenum then, the we'll first part of the, the small, small intestine. intestine. And that bottom part is the pyloric stomach. Okay, so you find the small intestine, you find where it leads to the large intestine. And so it starts, uh, he told us what that shit was, do you remember? The cecum? Cecum, and then there was like that thing. Yeah, anyways, okay, so it goes ascending 
goes up, and then transverse goes across the stomach, kind of underneath the stomach, and then descending goes down. And those are the three parts of the colon that we need to know. Okay, this is the aorta, the main vein, or, uh, artery coming out of the heart. Then you can see the various lung lobes, um, which are, you breathe with the diaphragm, which makes the lungs open and expand. You can see it's muscly, it has little striations on it. And then we got the liver, this guy, the little green gallbladder right there. And then you got the stomach underneath the livers right here. Got the spleen right here. Pancreas is this little. So that nubbly bit right there, it's like granular and under the stomach, the pancreas. I gotta get in here somewhere. Yeah, see how it's kind of grainy? Pancreas. And then is this the spleen? Spleen. Okay. okay. And then it goes from the stomach, it goes to the small intestine, which is all the stuff right here that we already talked about on our video. And you found your cecum earlier, I saw that. And yeah, yeah. And that goes to this guy. Mm -hmm. And then this is the uterus. Yeah, we mm -hmm. thought so. And there's uterus. the uterine tube. It's still part of the uterus, but it's like kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> right there's the ovary. Like all and the cats that would be the uterus. uterine tube would be right there. The, the oviduct or uterine, mm -hmm. or uh, okay. not uterine tube, oviduct or a fallopian tube, right there. Excellent. And this is our urinary got bladder. A kidney. Yeah. And a kidney here, a kidney there. Sick. Okay. Like the liver. Like the lungs <laughs> and the heart and the trachea and the esophagus and the. Um, Diaphragm <laughs> and the falciform ligament, it's right there, and the liver, liver. and the gallbladder. My freaking things are so big, I can't even. Gallbladder. <laughs> yes. Okay. Anyways, the stomach and the spleen. <laughs> the spleen, the That's stomach. Really little spleen can be Yeah, it's like ridiculous, spleen. right? Okay, That's why. So it's that little thing. It, yeah. Succulus. Succulus. Rotund. Rotund. Rotundus. That's what I think. Yes. But I want to see if I'm right. It is. Oh, it is. Okay. And so there's the ileum, so, and this would be the cecum. Cecum one yeah. one okay, end. Cool. And the cecum ends in a uh, um, appendix. In a rabbit? Has your appendix? appendix? Oh, the vermiform appendix. Vermiform? This rabbit was just. Vermiform means worm like. There's the appendix right That's there. That's what that was. Okay. And see then. how it, see where it changes yeah. color? It's green there. Yeah. It's kind of brown. So that's appendix That's out what, there. Is and that this that is big cecum. enough? Is our appendix that long enough? Ours is much smaller than that. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, that's. Yeah, yeah. 